Regularization is a technique which solves the problem of overfitting. In overfitting, we have a very high training accuracy but a very low test accuracy. In this video, we will see what is overfitting, reasons for overfitting, what is regularization and how the regularization can help us overcome the problem of overfitting. Also in my previous video, I talked about what is underfitting and overfitting. So if you haven't checked out that video, you can find its link by clicking on the upper i button or down in the description box. And in this video, we will look at overfitting again so that we can understand why do we need regularization. Also, if you have been following me for a while, then this is your time to subscribe to my channel, hit the red subscribe button, also hit the bell icon so that you get notified every Sunday when I upload a new video on machine learning just like this. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. Let's look at what is overfitting. Let's say we have this as our training data set and this as our test data set. Now it is possible that after training the model for a certain time, the decision boundary fits so well to this data set that it captures almost all the points in it. Now if we try to make the predictions on the test data set with this model, uh, we can see that it will not perform well on the test data set. Thus, we will have high train accuracy but low test accuracy. And this condition is called the overfitting condition. What we ideally want is that a smooth curve like this that can fit well both in the training data set as well as in the test data set. So to do this, we use regularization. Let's say if you are using a neural network, then this highly complex non-linearity could be the result of having a very deep neural network which has many many hidden layers and each hidden layer has many neurons. So all the complex connections between each neuron will create a highly complex non-linear curve like this. So if we want to somehow increase the linearity or to have a smoother curve here, then we would want to have a slightly lesser number of neurons. So let's say somehow if we can get rid of certain neurons in the neural network or better say nullify the effect of certain neurons in the hidden layers, then we can increase the linearity and thus have a better smoother curve that will fit properly. A better way to understand is by taking an example of a regression problem. Let us assume that instead of a neural network, we are making a regression model. And overfitting in this data set will be something like this complicated curve where the, our model will try to fit on every data point of this data set. This complex curve is only possible if we have so many number of parameters and comparatively less data set. So let's say here we have 500 parameters and if we had only one feature and or let's say two parameters then it is only possible to fit a straight line in it so this is highly linear what we want is a middle ground between these two curves so that we can have a proper curve that fit well and this is possible by eliminating or better say nullifying the effect of certain parameters or certain terms in this curve so that we can have a better smoother curve that fits like this properly and this technique to nullify the effect of certain parameters or neurons in a neural network is called regularization and there are two main types of regularization one is l2 regularization and other is dropout regularization these two techniques help us to nullify the effect of certain parameters or neurons in the neural network and thus increase the linearity in our model and to have a better curve that fit well in both the training as well as the test data set in the next video we will look at these two techniques one by one and we will also implement that in python completely from scratch so you can go to the next video by clicking on the left icon and i will see you there